Welcome to this QuickBooks desktop tutorial for beginners. Uh, my name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you how to reconcile your credit card in QuickBooks desktop. Okay, so each month it's really, really important, you know, when you reconcile your, your bank statements that you also reconcile your credit cards because there is a certain process to how you get your bill into QuickBooks for a credit card. It's not the normal procedure of just going to enter bills, which is right here, okay? And I talk about those in the free videos that I have at the website at qbuniversity.org, okay? So at the end of the month, you get your credit card statement, and let's say that you have entered your credit card charges during the month, and now it's super, super important to go and reconcile your credit card, okay? So you can click this box here, reconcile on the flowchart, or uh, you can go up to here, banking, and you can go to reconcile. Either way is gonna get you to the same spot. Okay, so click reconcile. You're gonna choose the account, okay? So normally, you're gonna choose a checking account if you're reconciling a checking account, but in this case, we're gonna reconcile a credit card, okay? And again, the whole purpose of this is just to make sure that all those charges that are on the card and all those payments that are on the, on the card, on the statement, match what you have in QuickBooks, okay? This keeps everything straight and keeps track of all your expenses, okay? So I'm gonna type in, we're gonna go to our statement and we're gonna say, we're gonna look up the ending balance. It's 498.93 in this example. So you're just gonna type that in. And if you had a finance charge, you're gonna add it here and you're gonna put in the account that that goes to. All right, so once you get all that information in, you hit continue. Okay, I've got a password on previous times, so we're gonna undo that. So it brings us to the reconciliation screen. Over here on the left, you've got charges, and over here on the right, you've got payments and credits. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up here and click this hide transactions after the statement end date. All right, because it's just gonna confuse you if you've got all these other charges. All right, so you look at your statement and you check off. You say, okay, well, yep, this charge was on there and this charge was on there. And you look at the payment and you say, yes, this payment was on there. And if it wasn't, you just don't check it. All right, so the key is you wanna make sure that this difference down here goes to zero. Okay, that means that you have accounted for everything that was charged and everything that was paid on that credit card, okay? Really simple ways too, if everything is on there, you can click mark all, unmark all. If you need to go to a transaction, you can highlight it and click go to, okay? But the key is you wanna make sure you get this to zero. Now, if you don't get it to zero, then you need to go back and double check, and make sure that you have all the charges and all the payments in there. Okay, so once you get it to zero, you click reconcile now, okay? And this is where it is key in the credit cards. You can write a check for payment now or enter a bill for payment later, okay? So if we click OK, it's gonna put in a bill, okay? This is right here. This pop-up is if you want to print your reconciliation report or just display it. We're just gonna hit close because it does save it for you. But then it puts in a bill for the full amount, all right? And you can change this. Let's say you wanna make a minimum payment of $150. You just change that there, all right? And then after the bill's done, you hit save and close, and you're good to go. And that's how you reconcile a credit card in QuickBooks. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so for more free videos, head on over to QuickBooks University, qbuniversity.org. Also with our program, uh, we have the full training for QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online over there uh, that uh, you also get personal support that we answer your questions, I answer your questions through a number of different ways to help you in your situation with QuickBooks. All right, head on over, qbuniversity.org.